Hi guys, I just finished Clive Barker's Night Breed. Oh my god, <laughs> I was not ready for the intenseness. Just excuse me, I am cooking Luxa at the same time and my noodles are nearly done, but I'll just turn this timer off. Um, <laughs> wow, that is different to the films I normally watch and I really, really liked um, mixing it up. What year is this? This seemed very 80s, but it is 1990. Okay, the year I was born, fun fact. Um, this film is intense, but what I did like about it was the theatrical element, the makeup, the special effects, uh, the props, the music, the sets. Everything was so 80s vibe um, that they did have a little bit of special effects, but the makeup was amazing. If you don't know what this film is about, it is about a man who is seeking therapy and has a few issues and he actually gets drawn to a place called Median. There he gets to face a monster race which he belongs to. That is the short version, but there is a lot in this movie. There's a lot to be said about it. This is an 80s fantasy action horror fans wet dream. This movie is intense from start to finish. I found it hard to keep up even though the storyline is quite basic. There was just a lot going on all the time, which was a good thing because I really liked looking at all of the different monsters and all of the different creations. It's really cool because I don't really watch movies like this these days and it's really nice to watch something different for once. And I'm really surprised I haven't seen this one because obviously it's a classic and I really encourage all you guys who don't normally watch these classics to definitely check it out. Uh, because it does show a whole different subgenre to horror that you just can't make these days. They can't make movies like this. They don't do the whole theatrical number. They don't do the whole special effects. So when the action was taking over and I was like, I'm not really into this action, at least I could watch different creatures in the background. It kind of reminded me of uh, like a mix between The Labyrinth, um, Hellraiser, and Narnia, like it was just all over the place and I really liked that about it. It was a really good movie in an interesting way. In saying that it is very old school, it also has some jump scares, which I was surprised about because normally these movies don't really have jump scares. Something I really liked about it, obviously, besides the theatrics, the soundtrack, even just the music in the background was really cool and very like 80s chic. Even though it's 90s, I'd still say it's 80s because it was probably primarily made in the 80s. I was reading up about this movie and they actually had an alternative ending. And the ending of this film is more like, whoa, I was not expecting it to end that way and I actually gasped out loud and Dean who's in the other room was like, what? Are you alright? Because <laughs> uh, the ending is pretty intense, but it wraps around and it's, I guess it's, it's good, it all works. But the biggest surprise for me is looking up this film afterwards and realizing that there is no sequel. This seems like a movie that is meant to live on and on and on and I'm very surprised there is no sequel. Very sad about that, please correct me if I'm wrong. If not, I know that they're doing a sequel, they're doing number five of Phantasm. Maybe they need to do a sequel to this movie. I could be wrong. There's uh, What I saw, there was no sequel, but um, they need to make a sequel. Uh, the only other thing about this film that I was kind of negative for me was it went for so long, but such an epic film, I guess, has to go for so long. Um, it did have David Cronenberg in it, which is a big deal, um, and I enjoyed it. Thoroughly. I thought it was a great film. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And there you go, another classic that I'll never be able to see for the first time again. Hope you guys are having a great day and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Stay spooky. Bye.